Hello and welcome back to Dev Explaining channel. Uh, this is second part in my Brainwave series. Uh, uh, we are going to dive into Python and Brainwaves right now. So I'm going to go through some tools how you can record your brain and then you can analyze your brain using some data science. Um, first thing you are going to need is a headset. So I have one right here in my head. Uh, this is well worn. This is Mindwave mobile headset, so old generation already. You can see that there is a rubber band included because uh, I broke the clip that needs to be in my ear. So pretty simple thing. I think these cost around 70 euros or something like that. Um, then from up, if you invest more, you can get a lot more. There's pretty cool stuff around right now. But the thing I like about this one is that uh, we have a it interacts with a serial port. We have simple libraries that we can tap into this. And in that sense, you can think that this becomes just another IoT device. In a sense, your brain becomes just another IoT device. So I've written a little bit of Python code to tap into that data and, as I said, analyze it. So I think it's time to dive into that. Time for a live demo. And this demo is probably among the most uh, kind of uh, technically com com uh, complex ones that I've done for quite a while. So try to bear with me. I try to kind of get the good stuff here uh, in a compact time. I'm hoping this might, this might work smoothly. But anyways, <clears throat> what I've done is I've pulled my Git repository uh, to my machine. This is the project illited source, source code from GitHub. The link will be in the description of this video. If you want to play play with it a little bit yourself, you can kind of read all that I'm going to show show to you here. So, um, okay, so um, I'm doing this on a Mac uh, laptop because uh, uh, this uh, Mindwave is a little bit tricky for connecting. So the way I'm going to show it to you now is the way how I've, I've kind of learned to set it up. Um, and that means that um, I'm having a, my MacBook and then if I show you my, oh, sorry, nope, not that. Let's check all TTU, TTY devices. So uh, my uh, Mindwave headset has been paired with my machine and uh, it's uh, available as uh, a device here. So this is important in my code to tap into that. If I were to do this on Windows, then I would uh, correspondingly have some serial port where I'm hooking. But idea is, uh, in this case, uh, the approach I'm using is to tap into directly to serial port and use serial communications. There are some other kind of options depending on what kind of headset you would be having. But this works for me. So uh, a second thing I wanted to show you was a little bit of code. Uh, the project contains a few folders and we'll dive deeper into them later. But for now, let's keep things extremely simple. So I have the mind reader folder here and mind reader folder uh, contains uh, some tools uh, that I have created. There is first of all one library. Uh, this is not invented by me. Uh, it's uh, ori originally from other multiple other sources, but most of them were working with Python 2 and therefore uh, I like to deal with Python 3. Furthermore, many of them were somehow broken. So this is kind of my own own making. It's included in the uh, GitHub repository and you can grab it and, and build something on top of that if you want. So this is fork from original Mindwave stuff and then inspiration from multiple other kind of cases. But as you can see, it's pretty low level. So we are uh, reading the serial traffic and reacting to different headers and then activating different parts. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, based on this code, I then have a recorder, which is, I think, first tool that I would like to introduce to you. So my recorder is pretty stupid Python, but uh, as I mentioned, we connect to the device, whatever that device is in, in, in the machine. In my machine, it happens to be like so. Then we give it a little bit of time after connection to kind of warm up. And then what we do, we start uh, kind of looping half a second and taking a sample. And what I do with those samples, well, I store them in a CVS uh, uh, comma separated values file in the same folder. And I've actually made a lot of recordings like this already. However, uh, let's uh, see if I'm able to do one right now and show it for you. So I go to my mind 
reader subfolder and then I activate my recorder need to have a few libraries installed they are all in the readme and requirements txt so I think there's pi serial what I'm using for serial port it's kind of essential so here is my recording connecting to mindwave I hope at this point it either crashes or works <laughs> as I said uh, serial port communications over Bluetooth are not the kind of easiest thing to get right, but it seems like I managed to do so. So now it's grabbing those raw values and, and uh, I get, uh, you, you might be able to see that there's attention and meditation values and then we have separate bandwidth values. So we have delta, theta, low alpha, high alpha. And since I'm doing this as time series recording, this is like from any IoT device. Only thing is that this is my brain state. So as I said, then we can record that to a file and then we can uh, examine that file a bit deeper. Um, I'm uh, going to show you next how these files look like. So let's see, here is me delivering a presentation 2020. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I'm recording quite simple values. So we have the timestamp, millisecond precision, so then we can draw some graphs on top of that. Then we have the raw value. Raw is uninterpreted, so it's the value read by the headset. And then that value is further analyzed by the hardware. And then we can get the high level values, which is my attention level and meditation level. These are quite simple. All the kind of hard work ha has already been done. But if we are curious, we can dive a bit deeper. And uh, I think this is the fun stuff we can get the delta brain brain brainwave bandwidth values theta low alpha high alpha low beta high beta and it goes onwards why uh, i earlier did the presentation on what these what these uh, kind of bandwidth areas represent so so you can go back and take a look but also i think uh, we could also now load this into some data science tools and uh, try to make some sense out of this but I think you got the point. So some hardware, a little bit of Python code to glue things, and then we can uh, start recording uh, brain information. Um, I want to also kind of emphasize one point. Um, that this uh, tool will not really read your brains. So it's not going to tell me that now you are thinking of a car. So the level is more like uh, emotions and mental state. Uh, focus, concentration, meditation, those are the things we can detect from here. But yeah, if, if you're saying like, guess what is the word I'm thinking right now? Well, I probably cannot, even if you had this headset on and I would be reading it, I probably cannot do that. Uh, probably if, only if it raises some strong emotional kind of uh, response, I might be able to see something from here, but otherwise not. So that's the level where we are working. Okay, I don't want to do too long episodes, so this was a quick and snappy bit. I wanted to introduce you to my code, how it works, how I'm able to read things from brain, and then how I'm able to record that. So I think in the next episode we can dive into how to analyze that, and also further we can see how to write some code to react to that, which is actually quite simple after all this. Okay, so I hope you learned something new and fun today. Perhaps you were even entertained. Uh, if so, remember to support this channel. Uh, like the video if you like it. There's the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you like to kind of see more and, and encourage me. And click the bell icon to get notified. Uh, furthermore, uh, I like to spread this channel and I like to see it grow. So if you know a friend who might be interested in stuff like this, don't hesitate to send them the link. So every new subscriber makes me very happy at this point. The numbers are so very modest right now. Uh, thank you for listening and tune in next week. There will be more fun stuff to come.